Answers of an Alien from Andromeda, Video 164, October, 2020 Hello my friends. I am still alive and well. We had to take a break in communications in general at the request of CG because so much is in progress on the planet at this time. A lot of movement of Pleiadians and Arcturians mostly. As I already mentioned, the year 2020 on your local calendar will be a milestone in these last decades. We have been circulating among the new level 1 colonies to assist in the social readaptation on these planets, and I took the opportunity to make analyses of the group formed by you, and complement the update of my development report according to the subjects and reactions expressed by you. Your state of concern and apprehension is perfectly normal, because so much is happening. The monetary system is about to be changed by the current reserve containers, banks as they know them today may cease to operate, the crisis caused by the false pandemic could be the worst in modern history. The leaders in charge of this new scenario are having their meetings secretly in previously determined places to define the measures taken against the current system of millennial controllers. Much cannot be said, but for good observing experts like you half a word is enough. I have been talking to CB sporadically but only now have I been able to come in person to answer any questions. I will reinforce the request to you not to receive vaccines created to contain this false pandemic mounted by your elites. This vaccine could be the trigger for activating nano components to be activated remotely, including through vehicles with portable antennas that can circulate through densely populated areas to circumvent any surveillance that the Pleiadians will be carrying out on your satellite networks and terrestrial transmission systems. Questions Mithy, how true is it that we have been traveling for the past few thousand years through a supernova remnant that has had an effect of boosting the galactic shields? Otherwise known as the heliopause that protects our solar system, effectively weakening the Earth's magnetosphere the closer we get to leaving it? Is it global warming or an ice age we have to fear? Can you confirm that this is the actual truth that they are hiding from us? See Tom, galactic formation processes are permeated with variables that are difficult to condition in a brief response. Galaxies are formed in different ways depending on the concentration of celestial bodies in their region of aggregation or passage of the route that can be captured by the intensity of the mass field of this galaxy. Regularly galaxies are formed by the explosion of a large star or the emission of pressure from black holes with parallel universes that expel matter instead of sucking, and this inertia generated by the formation continues for thousands of ages, inflating the formed galaxy until its total stabilization. To simplify, each star system within a galaxy creates its own balance of forces to continue to exist, and the planets, including yours, generate the magnetic field corresponding to its own dynamical movement and characteristic of its formation. Hot or cold? It depends on the nature activities of the planet itself, that is, if uncontrolled volcanic activities permeate atmospheres of ash, an ice age will happen. If the axis declines too much its north-south axis the magnetic field will suffer dispositions that could weaken the defenses against the emissions from your sun and that will warm the planet as a whole. As you can see, there is no relation to the position of the galaxy, each solar system that is part of it, makes its own rules in this sense. Dear Mithy, since the Chinese are dealing with and having contact with aliens, what other countries are also having contact without the citizens knowing about it? Also is this not going against galactic community guidelines? JB, there are contacts of mother breeds with specific societies, but that does not mean that they can pass on technical information to make them superior to other societies. Most of the time the contacts are more focused on the philosophical area than the technical one. No interaction takes place without the CG not knowing or following it closely. In very simple terms, it is as if a mother takes off her son's slingshot and another mother does the same with her own. Anything that can help to create a peaceful coexistence can be released by the CG in an increasingly significant volume depending on the increase in the level of collective awareness of the societies involved. Mithy, is Earth experiencing an equal thaw at both the South and the North Poles? What if one hemisphere's ocean starts heating up first? Are ocean currents beginning to change their course yet? I've been reading many posts regarding the ozone hole has been closed, 
and I would like to ask if this happened because of the galactic community or if it is because the temperature raised 20 degrees like the scientists say. Thanks. C. Beru, in part your question has already been answered, but the more the Earth's core tilts inside the planet, the more it takes along the magnetic field in which the lines of force are getting more and more at an angle in relation to the interaction magnetic with your central sun. It is therefore natural that your oceans start to heat up differently as well as the air masses in your atmosphere, and this is what will lead the planet to the natural changes that will be expected. Mithy Please tell us what really happened in Barents Sea on August 12, 2000 when the nuclear-powered submarine Kursk sunk, killing all 118 personnel on board. Who is responsible for that incident? Thank you. Vladimir, understand that we do not keep all accident records in which you are involved, unless they are bellicose acts against other societies. Take into account the following. Even with the redundancies in the security of your current vehicle projects, you depend on thousands of details and components that can present both technical and human flaws, in addition to not having protection fields to isolate your vehicles from the environment, being subject directly to everything that may happen in the interaction of your vehicles with the nature of the planet. According to the few records I had access to the region on that date, the submarine in question destroyed itself due to irreversible technical failures. No more detailed information. Mithy, we know that in the next phase, slowly we will get rid of borders and make the languages somewhat uniform with several existing ones. Right now, for a lot of people on Earth, their culture and language is what makes them who they are. And gives them a sense of belonging. So, I'd like to know how will the integration and loss of culture work? Thank you. JB, don't worry about your concerns so much. This will take the necessary time, awareness and the mixture of culture will happen gradually. The important thing is that everything that is good in one culture will become available for other cultures to adopt, and vice versa. Imagine the children of a German with Japanese. They will have a much broader horizon to integrate cultural habits and this will lead them to admire the characteristics of each one of them in this integration. The good thing about a cosmopolitan culture is that everyone comes to understand each other's qualities, and to reject the bad tendencies of each culture involved in that mix. Mithy, please tell me, if you approach the sun on a spaceship that is resistant to very high temperatures, can you hear a sound from the sun itself? Such as crackling? Explosions, bumps, gurgling liquid lava? What sounds does it make? What is on the surface of the sun, and what could we see if we remove flames from its surface? Does the flame rise high from its surface? What is the temperature inside the core of the sun if it has one? And is it possible to land your ships on its surface? Vladimir Matsesta the temperature of the sun at an exactly central point is approximately 16 million degrees centigrade and the solar activity generates so much heat as a result of the rotation of its nucleus being very fast in relation to the rest of the magma. The dynamo effect on the suns is very great. The suns are noisy due to the great surface activity and really very unstable, with no surface solid enough for any ship to land on it. There is a large portal in it using its vast abundance of energy, for specific teleports, but this portal is located above its surface, and it erases the image of the surface below when activated, causing external observers to see only a totally dark spot. With regard to sound, spacecraft can silence sound waves with a simple adjustment in the force fields. Mithy, some Indian multi-armed deities are identified with cosmic consciousness and with the guardians of the universe. Where do these legends of ancient multi-armed creatures whose appearance is widespread in the countries of the East in the form of giant sculptures, rock frescoes, and images originate from? Did they really exist and who were they? Keat, these legendary images try to pass on to the followers the image that a god or demigod can interact as if they were many, the images were venerated in this way symbolizing the strength of many arms because the arms were the symbol of everything that men they could do in those times, handle tools and potions, take care of crops, take care of the family, weave fabrics, defend themselves, in short, in those periods only hands could interact with simple tools and make man special. They were never beings with many arms like those of these statues and frescoes, 
it was always a symbol to show the superiority of these entities. Mythi, are there intelligent cephalopods in the universe that really exist? Such as octopus and squid. Do they travel in space? Do you communicate with them personally? What abilities of the brain do they differ from us and you? Octopuses seem to be extremely intelligent observers and problem solvers. Should we be eating these wonderful creatures as food? They could teach you us a thing or two, it seems. Thank you, dear friend. Pavel and Luna, only octopuses have a highly functional brain, squids are not equipped with more advanced brains. Yes, there are societies of octopuses advanced enough to have exuberant colonies on several planets, but, as they lack functional skeletons, they are strictly marine beings. Some advanced societies have vehicles for locomotion and can move around the space without problems, but instead of air, these ships are like water tanks with salt water. They can only visit other planets that contain oceans as well, where they can easily carry out their explorations. Unfortunately, there are very few of these societies, as they are extremely docile beings, of good nature, and very sociable. Speaking for myself and my society, I consider it totally foolish to feed on these special creatures. Mythy, tell us more about the race whose representative spoke with Matilda McElroy in 1947. At what level are they? What projects have they implemented on Earth? What part are they now taking in the transition of the colony? Maxim, this is a level 4 race from another regional CG that does not include your galaxy. They like to map colonies and eventually offer support to other CGs when needed. They have a lot of experience with integrating colonies, but in the case of your planet, given the number of races already involved, I believe they should not be working here. Dear Mythy, what is the current galactic community policy regarding nuclear power stations still operating past the shutdown deadline given to them back in 2011? What can we expect to see in the next 5 or 10 years with this sector and power generation generally? You see, after 2011 several meetings were held on the subject, and due to the lack of conditions in many regions to keep their societies supplied with energy, there was a reformulation in which your governments had to take additional security measures imposed by the CG to avoid major problems, while the planet is using this type of energy. Mythy, can you confirm or deny that the magnetic field does not belong to the magnet, that is, to the substance itself? Magnet is like a lens in the environment in that it converts the energy of the surrounding space inside itself at the atomic molecular level. Is that correct? Based on this, is it possible to create a free energy generator on magnets without violating the law of conservation of energy and without using quantum technology? How long would it work? Maxed, the correct thing is that the magnetic field does belong to a magnet. The orientation of the electron spins of most atoms is aligned with a certain direction and this will determine the poles of the magnet. There is no relationship between magnets and energy concentrators like lenses in the environment. The interaction of the magnetic force lines can only create energy when they interact with other metallic atoms and are susceptible to the momentary orientation of the spins of those suggested by the proximity of a magnet. The magnetic energy itself does not become useful energy unless there is some kind of interaction outside the magnet. Mythy, would EMP be an effective mechanism against nanoparticles injected into our bodies through vaccines and if so, how does the ordinary citizen generate an EMP with accessible technology? Dominic no, this EMP technology can interact with devices that are activated and working, in the case of nanoparticles, as they work with acidic interaction with a living organism, once activated they will remain active. If these have their own guidelines, they will continue to act, if they need to connect to remote systems to transmit data. They can stop interacting with them since an EMP can take control systems out of operation. Mythy, is it true that under the seabed of Bermuda Triangle there are huge chambers filled with gas hydrates, either in pure gaseous form or frozen in ice? How are they formed and why are they there? Raphael, yes, these deposits exist in many ocean areas on the planet, it is common. They are the result of layers of biological extracts that form pockets of gases when lower layers metabolize oil sheets. 
natural gas exploration platforms are almost entirely installed in oceans. Mithy, according to the theory of the outstanding Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kozrov, the cosmic consciousness of a human observer can instantly travel from one point of the universe to another. Mithy, what can you say about a device called Kozarev mirrors? Al Dent, sorry to disappoint, this theory has no definite scientific basis, moving even mentally to another place in the universe instantly without knowing exactly where you are going is a utopia, a theory with no practical effect or plausible scientific basis. The design of this device also says absolutely nothing scientifically speaking. Dear Mithy, would global food shortages triggered by PTB tactics and shifting climates trigger galactic community intervention against genocide? Peter, the guidelines of the galactic community have their internal rules, they will decide what should be done in this case. It depends on how they categorize the event they should take plausible steps. But I can say that the more society can resist and discourage your corrupt rulers by exposing them to their atrocities, the more quickly they will be neutralized and social liberation will be achieved. Sometimes your older brother can get you out of a beating at school, but eventually you will be proud and have more confidence in yourself when you face and win your own struggles. Mithy, one of my friend's daughter has COVID-like symptoms but is COVID negative. Since you have said it's a blood clotting agent, can you tell us how to counteract the agent once it's activated? Are anticoagulants effective in treating the symptoms? Can antiplatelets be used as a prophylaxis? Can they be eliminated completely from the body without alien technology? Were they also spread through the same delivery system as nanites? Can you tell us more? Deepu, nano components only come into play when injected as vaccines. To work they have to find an acidic environment in the host's body. The only way to keep them inactive is to keep the body at 7.5 alkalinity, and you already know how to do that. Myth, we are being told that Russia and China have weaponized some of their satellites with directed energy weapons. Now we have this from the US military. Will this lead into a space war and will galactic community step in to prevent major damage to any countries in jeopardy? Thank you. Tammy, the case of laser operations of your military is beyond the control of weapons considered of mass destruction. Anyway, we know that they are weapons of little representation. For use in orbiting space they serve with object destroyers, but for air ground use it does not have enough power to cause any significant damage to the surface. If you tell me that it could be used to set things on fire, it might even be in specific cases, but it would be much cheaper to use a simple incendiary drone than to spend all this technology on it. Hello dear Mithy, would you please tell us about trans and non-binary genders? Both as personal identifiers and upbringing choices for babies, children and teenagers. Where does one's identification with a different gender from their biological sex or neither gender originate? Is this determined in early childhood or does one remain suggestible to such a transition throughout life and which factors come into play? Is our global society becoming more aware of something that has always existed and is simply becoming more visible and represented or is this increasing? Thank you. See Jaya, behavioral distortions can come at any age, can be induced by the environment where the child grows up, or can be a naturally manifested tendency. In fact, Sexual pleasure is a totally personal factor, and if it doesn't hurt anyone, there is no real social problem caused by it. The important thing is that the person is able to relate to his or her affins and does not feel stuck in his or her search for sexual happiness. Everything that is natural and not imposed is worthwhile in the search for balance arising from a good and satisfying sexual relationship. These tendencies of affection for beings of the same sex or even for different breeds of animals happen in nature where there are no social restrictions to impose what would be normal or not to happen. The important thing is to happen naturally and cause the expected pleasure for the pair in question. Mithy, how do you describe ego and conscientization, and how do you see the relationship between them work at levels 1, 2, 3 as a comparison as that dynamic changes? 
How does ego affect raising one's level of conscientization and brain activation through many lives since there are highly intelligent people with big egos and others less intellectual but of high character and little ego? Does ego have any uses in level 0 and level 1? Can you expand on what you said about balance points? Sitchi and Michael Norton, friends, the greater the conscientization of beings, the smaller the ego involved. The ego happens when you think you are better or superior to others, and the more you learn the more you realize the little distance that separates you from the one you are comparing yourself to. It is not because you are already a ripening fruit that you will disdain the seeds that are sprouting, because you already know consciously that it was one of them before you got there. Do not confuse intelligence with conscientization, if the two do not follow parallel, Harmful things like egos and a sense of superiority will only delay the real development of a person as a being. When awareness is developed, the ego is replaced by pride in being part of a universal process of development and your participation in it, helping new seeds to become fruits, perhaps more succulent than yourself. Very nice to be with you my friends again. CG is more liberal now that the directions are being defined and is following the current political state that could radically change the course of the societies of the planet. But make no mistake, the attempts to stagnate the world economy will continue as the main action of your millennial executioners who will try to execute their plans to depopulate the planet of different ethnicities, and thus to stabilize for a long time the possibility of your possible new leaders to try to normalize the world economy with new rules. We are always here for you.